Did you ever find yourself in this situation? Your kite constantly backstalling or your kite constantly pulling on one side? My name is Petar Palovic, I love sharing my kite surf experience with you and in this episode I will give you an important tip you might use next time you launch your kite, especially if you didn't use your gear for a long time or when you take equipment from your friend or even when you rent the equipment. Put the kite on the side towards the water. Sit on the beach with your legs in front of you. Make sure that the trim line is set on full power and pull the bar in completely for 10 seconds. You should feel a nice tension on the bar and a pull on your harness. The kite should be staying stable on the edge of the wind window. This would mean that your kite is well trimmed. If your kite starts backstalling, of course immediately depower the bar. If you're not sure why the kite is backstalling, make sure to check my previous episode about the basic aerodynamic of a kite. This means that your back lines are too short, or in other words, that your front lines are too long. If this is the case, you can at first pull a bit the trim line so you shorten the front lines and repeat the trim check. If your kite doesn't backstall, you are good to go. Knowing that for your kite to work properly, your trim line should be a bit pulled. If your kite is still backstalling, even with the trim line pulled in, the best would be to land your kite and see if either on your bar or on the kite you can simply change knots to extend your back lines or shorten the front lines. There is also a chance that once you pull the bar, there is not much tension on the back lines. But the trim line is on full power, meaning that your back lines are too long, front lines too short. Your kite may have a slower reaction. Land the kite and check if whether on your kite or bar you are able to shorten the back lines or if you can make the front lines longer. Once you are sure that your kite is trimmed well, put the kite in 12 o'clock and pull on the bar to see if your bar is standing parallel with the kite. Note, in most cases it is difficult to have your bar 100% parallel with the kite, but if you see clearly that your bar is not parallel with the kite, at first make sure that your safety line is loose. On some bars the safety line is getting shorter after lots of spinning. If the safety line is on full tension, this may shorten one of the front lines and cause the kite to pull on one side. There is also a high risk of the safety line to break. Check if there are knots to extend the safety line or re-spin your safety line. Also the reason of your kite pulling on one side could be if your bar has the options of changing the bar length. You have to make sure that both sides are set the same. If one side is set on longer and the other side on shorter bar, this can be the reason of your kite pulling on one side. Note, if you're on a small beach or the wind is too strong for performing a safe trim check or symmetry check, then the only option is to check it once you're in the water, with the board on your feet in front of you. If you're not able to make your kite fly properly by simply changing the knots, make sure to check my next episode where you will see more reasons of why your kite is pulling on one side and all the options of how you may trim your bar lines properly. Please don't forget to subscribe and see you soon.